Hello there, this is Mr. Blue Jeans, and welcome to your Blue Jeans Country Countdown. As we speed the 10 most popular country hits in the world today, as compiled and populated by the U.S. Billboard. And before we speed our 10 most popular hits today, we have a brand new record here by the Alabama. And when uh, Gentry was interviewed, he said, I know we are going to put out a good album this year. We already got material together for it, and I think we have the 10 strongest songs we've ever had on an album. And they're right. On your Blue Jeans Country Countdown, here is the brand new song by the Alabama. That's right, a brand new album there by the Alabama. And of course, new material is always refreshing. And if you're ready, we start off rolling our 10 most popular hits in the country world today. Starting with number 10, we have Ray Stevens and the Mississippi Squirrel Revival. Well, when I was a kid, I'd take a trip every summer down to Mississippi to visit my granny and her auntie at Bellum World. I'd run barefooted all day long, climbing trees, frizz or something. Country and novelty side. From a big jump from number 20 last week, jumping to number 10 this week, and your Blue Country Countdown. Mississippi Square Remodel. And we continue our countdown. Vern Gaston may well be one of country's male superstar. Although the time of writing this has not been spread all over the United States until 1979, when he made a big hit with his song Till the End. This week on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown, moving now to number 9. Last week, number 15, Slow Burning Memories. Yeah, last week, number 15, and this week, number 9, Burn Gaston and Slow Burning Memories. We have 8 hits to go on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown. Merrill Haggard is a superstar and certainly one of the wealthiest in country music. His parents migrated with thousands of other Okies from the Dust Bowl, the Midwestern states which suffered drought that left the uh, farmlands parched during the 30s to the land of hope, California. It's it's see you you I number I eight. eight. And what you feel now? Looking for a place to fall apart. One of the giants of country music, Merle Haggard, who along with his superb backing group called The Strangers, who have been with him for quite a long time, has contributed greatly to the growth and popularity of country music with both his writing and his performing. And occupying number seven on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown, following the footsteps of the Alabama, we have The Exile and Crazy For You. This week's number seven on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown, Crazy For Your Love. And we have six hits to go on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown. You know, one mustn't forget to mention that the uh, Stettler Brothers have established a very popular annual event since 1971, the July 4th Country Music Festival held in uh, Stoughton, Virginia. This week on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown, currently number six, The Slutters and My Only Love. This week's number six, The Stadler Brothers there, My Only Love. And we have five hits to go on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown. And don't go away because in the second half of your Blue Jeans Country Countdown this week we'll be spinning another brand new song by the Alabama. And like we promised, a brand new record by the Alabama from their album 40 Hour Week. I want to know you before we make love. The Alabama and Cajun country artist Jimmy C. Newman encouraged Eddie to come to Nashville to pursue his career. And Eddie took his advice. And in September 1969, he moved to Music City, very quickly getting a contract with music publishers Acock Rose. And this week on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown, 
currently number five. Eddie Raven, then she's gonna win your love. That's right, currently number five on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown. Eddie Raven there, and she's gonna win your love. And we have four hits to go on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown. And this week, occupying number four on your Blue Jeans Country, Mr. Gary Morris and the song Baby. Bye bye. from his album Faded Blue. Baby Bye Bye. We continue on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown. In 1965, T.G. got married and decided on a more settled way of life. A decision which took him into record promotion. And for a while he worked as Southern Regional Promoter for RCA. Afterwards, going on to form his own production and promotion company called the Umbrella Productions. Well, things were jogging along nicely when the song Devil in the Bottle came along. T.G. Shepard was convinced it would be a hit if he could find the right artist to record it. Surprisingly, he found it in Tumblr Motown, a label well known for its output of soul hits by acts like Diana Rose, The Supremes, and Marvin Gaye. Tumblr were launching a new country label called Melody Land, and Devil in the Bottle got them off to a magnificent start by going to number one in the country charts. This week on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown, Mr. T.G. Shepard and the number three song for this week, One Honor Heart. That's right, T.G. Shepard and this week's currently number three song, One Honor Heart. You know, the Oak Ridge Boys have come a long way in recent years after working with uh, Paul Simon on his hit single Slip Sliding Away in 1977. The Oak Ridge Boys moved further into country rock, signing with ABC and later MCA, and producing a whole stream of hit singles that includes You're the One in 1977, Sail Away in 1979, and Beautiful You in 1981. If you have the good fortune to see them on stage, you can appreciate my calling them one of the most entertaining visual acts on the country music scene today. This week on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown, currently number two, Make My Life With You. Very heavy song there by the Oak Ridge Boys, and a very good candidate to be the number one country song. But this week, occupy number two, Make My Life With You, by the Oak Ridge Boys on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown. In the three years since the release of uh, Ricky Skaggs' Waiting for the Sun to Shine, Ricky Skaggs' reputation has broadened from a cult figure known primarily in bluegrass circles to a full-fledged country star complete with awards and gold records. This week occupying number one on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown, Ricky Skagg and Something in My Heart. That's right, Ricky Skaggs and Something in My Heart, the most popular country song for this week on your Blue Jeans Country Countdown. So we will be back next week at the same time for more of the same. Spinning the 10 most popular country hits in the world today, as compiled and tabulated by the U.S. Billboard. On behalf of my mixing engineer, and of course my cameraman, Rodney Malikson, this is Mr. Blue Jean saying, good day everyone.